Here is how to think logically like a Cambridge student. Logic has been placed on a huge pedestal these days, but you'd be surprised to learn that most people are terrible at thinking logically. This isn't because they're particularly emotional or stupid, but because no one has taught them. Logic is a skill, and just like lifting weights or learning an instrument, it must be trained in order to improve. Here, I'll cover the basics of how to break an argument down into propositional form, which is the first step to thinking like a logician. Take an argument like, if something is a raven, then it is black. This is a raven, so it is black. We can break it down into two premises and a conclusion. The first premise is that if something is a raven, then it is black. The second premise is that a given thing, referred to by this, is a raven. And the conclusion is that the thing, therefore, must be black. Now, most people can see that this is a good argument, but why is that? It's because it is, in logical terms, valid. For an argument to be valid, it must be impossible for the conclusion to be false if all the premises are true. Here the argument is valid because if, if something is a raven, then it is black, is true, and if this is a raven is true, then this is black, must also be true. Thus, it is structurally a valid argument, if a bit of a mouthful. But here's the catch. It's not enough for an argument to be valid for it to be a good argument. It must also be sound, which just means that all of the premises are in fact true. The following argument is valid, but it's not sound, so most people would find it entirely unpersuasive. The argument is, all monkeys ride bikes, John is a monkey, so John rides a bike. This argument is perfectly valid. If both the premises were true, then the conclusion would also be true. But there's a problem. Not all monkeys ride bikes. That's just a fact of life. John may not even be a monkey. I don't know. So, it's not enough for an argument to be valid. It must also be sound in order for it to be persuasive. Realise that within this video is all you need to check whether most arguments are, are good. You essentially have to ask two questions. One, is it valid? Two, is it sound? If the answer to both of these questions is yes, then the argument is solid and the conclusion will be true. But if the argument is either not valid or not sound, then there's no reason to accept its conclusion. Lastly, here's an example of an argument. Can you tell me whether it's valid or sound? All mammals breastfeed, all breastfeeding mammals don't lay eggs, therefore no mammals lay eggs. Think carefully about it and comment what you think, and stick around for more on logic, philosophy and study skills.